Hi, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Um, so we know today Mr. Yobert is doing our reading. So if you saw Mr. Yobert, rock on. I'm so glad you went and saw um, your live class and your classmates at your 9.30 ELA meeting. I have a meeting today, so I'm not going to be able to make it. From 9 to 12, I have a three-hour meeting, but I would much rather be with you guys. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to our bookshelf today, All right? Right now I am in, if you look over here, I am in one blue. If you are not one blue, I want you to go to your level. This is two green, two G, one G, yellow, red. So whatever level you are at, I want you to go because you are going to go on a scavenger hunt for text features. All right, so this is gonna be in Cami. And it says scavenger hunt, title up your book. So whatever book you choose, I want you to write your title right here. And then the author. And you are going to look for headings, table of contents, photograph, a caption, or labels. Those are all of the nonfiction text features we have learned so far. Right, so let's go through and we're gonna read a book and I'm gonna show you what to do. All right, hmm, I'm going to pick, let's see, you have to find a nonfiction book. So when you're looking, you need to look for nonfiction. So look for one that has a photograph on the front cover. It doesn't have to be about animals. It can be about flying machines. Hmm, I think I found one I wanted to read in 2R. Let's see, Dr. Silly Cars, where'd it go? I wanted to read about fast cars, all right? If this isn't your level, then please don't pick it unless somebody's gonna read it to you. So remember, we are looking for headings, table of contents, photographs, captions, and labels. All right, so let's look. Keep your eyes open. <gasps> what did we find already? We found the table of contents. Absolutely. So you would put a check mark or color in this box in Cami. All right, so it says fast, faster, fastest. All right, let's see. What? <gasps> look at, what is this? What text feature is this? It's a heading. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. And look at these captions. And here's a photograph. Oh my goodness. This book is full of nonfiction text features. All right, let's read. Zip, zoom, squeal, vroom. What are the fastest cars on the road? A Lamborghini Aventador. A Lamborghini Aventador reaches 62 miles or 100 kilometers per hour in three seconds. One, two, three. That's really fast. That's three times faster than most cars. Say it like this. Lamborghini Aventador. Aventador. Lamborghini Aventador. So there's the photograph. Fancy. I like how this, the door goes up like that. Top speed. 217 miles per hour, so fast. A Ferrari Enzo's doors open up like giant butterfly wings. The car looks like it could fly down the road. This caption says top speed, 217 miles per hour. Say it like this, Ferrari Enzo. Could a car drive upside down in a tunnel? The makers of this Gumpar Apollo say this fast car is built to do it. Top speed, 224 miles per hour. Did you wanna drive upside down? I don't know, unless the tires were super sticky. I don't know if I would want to. I don't know if I wanna try it. Oh, another heading, this says faster. Noble M600 is lightweight and super fast. It reaches 120 miles per hour 
in under nine seconds. So the top speed of this is 225 miles per hour. So these are even faster than the other cars. The engine bay of a McLaren F1 is lined with real gold foil. The foil keeps the engine from getting too hot. So the engine has to work so fast to make it go. I mean, the engine has to work so hard to make it go so fast that it could get so hot. So it lines the engine part with gold foil, real gold and foil. Whew. Top speed, 242 miles per hour. Wow, that must be a very expensive car. It has real gold foil in the engine. The fastest car made in the United States is the SSC Ultimate Aero. It was the world's fastest car from 2007 to 2010. Top speed, 257 miles per hour. Wow, so we're seeing a lot of headings photographs and captions. Hmm, remember, what else are we looking for? Headings, we saw the headings and table of contents, photographs and captions. Labels, have you seen any labels in here yet? Huh, neither have I. Let's keep looking. Another heading, fastest. Whoa, that is one cool looking car. A Hennessy Venom GT weighs less than 2,800 pounds. At top speed, drivers feel like they're being fired from a cannon. Whew, that must feel so fast. Top speed, 260 miles per hour. That is the fastest one yet. Oh, that is funky car. This is a, okay, look at this. That's really hard to say, even for a grown up who knows how to read everything. I don't know how to read this. So I'm gonna use this to help me say it like this. Koenigsegg, Koenigsegg Agira. Koenigsegg Agira. I guess it breaks it up. Koenigsegg Agira. A Koenigsegg Agira R is a mighty machine. The car's wheels act like fans to cool the brakes. The wheels go so fast. It's like a fan to help cool the brakes when you try to stop. Top speed, 260 miles per hour. I can see why these cars are under the heading fastest. Don't blink. You might miss the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport as it zooms by you. At top speed, it uses more than one gallon of gas every minute. It has to use so much gas just to go that fast because the top speed is 267 miles per hour. That's faster than the other cars we've read about. Okay. Oh, and that's the end. So this was the fastest car we've read about. Oh no, wait. Let's look here. Did we find headings? Yeah. Did we find the table of contents? Yeah, photographs. So many cool photographs. And the captions, yeah. Did we find any labels? Nope. So if you don't find one, that's okay. Just leave it blank, All right? If you found it, color in the box or make a check mark, right? So put in the title of your book, right? This one, this title is fast cars. So I would write fast cars right here. The author, let's look carefully, the sticker's covering it. So I'm going to go to the title page. This always gives house, there's no stickers on the title page. Barbara Elpert. So I would write Barbara Elpert on the author page. And then when you read through, look, do I spy for text features? And on this bottom part, pick a text feature that you found and tell what page you found it on. So do you want to tell about the headings, the table of contents, the photograph, or the caption, or the labels if yours has labels? Hmm, if I do table of contents or a photograph, what page? The table of contents is on page four. So that's I would write 
table of contents and page four. All right, so what I want you to do right now is I want you to go to Art Bookshelf and this will count as your 15 minutes of reading. It's a win-win. And I want you to pick a nonfiction book. Remember, look through, only the nonfiction books are gonna have these text features that you need. And then read through and look, does it have headings? Did you find the table of contents? Some don't have it, but look for it. Does it have photographs? Does it have captions? Did you find labels in yours? I can't wait to find out. All right, so enjoy reading and looking, right? Scavenger hunt detective, nonfiction detective, that's you. All right, have a fantastic day. Enjoy the treasure hunt, bye.